<clears throat> Hello YouTubers, my name is Eggy and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Ludens from Kotobukiya and on today's video, I'm going to show you how I built this. This kit was filled with small and intricate parts, so it was a bit challenging to build compared to other kits. Some of the parts were attached to sprues in an awkward place, so cutting them out cleanly was a bit hard as well. Thankfully, the plastic was a high quality plastic, so sending them out and cleaning them was not hard. I even seam welded her thigh with Tamiya extracting cement, and I didn't have any issues sending the seam line even after the glue melted the plastic once. Following the instructions, I cut out each part from its sprues. Each part was filed and sanded to a smooth finish before assembling them according to the instructions. Instructions were easy to read. Some pictures were a bit hard to decipher due to the complexity of the parts, but in the end it was easy to follow. Despite small parts and the complexity of the kit, this was a well-engineered kit and it was fun to build. This is what the kit looks like, built straight out of the box without any sticker supply. The kit had a lot of small details, so as you can see, it looks great even without painting. Before painting, all parts were washed with warm soapy water to remove any oil from the parts. For this kit, I decided to paint it using lacquer paints. From primer to main color, I use either splash paint or Mr. Color. I don't have a lot of experience painting with lacquer paint, so I made a lot of mistakes, so there were a lot of learning experience while painting this kit. I painted the kit by using darker shade of the color as a base paint and using the main color as a highlight, which created some shading. For white, I used splash color gray primer and highlighted using splash mecha color white.
For metals, I use black primer before spraying with metal color from Invista Color. I also use acrylic wash to create some dash on these metal parts. As for the gray, I started out with a black primer and painted gray as a highlight with a splash map of color gray. I painted small details such as her trim on her chest armor with a brush. I use acrylic peg on this part. I also used Tamiya panel liner. On the armor, it brought the panel gap, but on her clothes, it created some shading.
For her skin tone, I use a bare plastic color as a main color. But I use Mr. Color, a uh, Lessiver CL03, to create the shading. This is a flat coat makes some nice anime shaded look. Water slide was applied next. I used hobby knife to cut out the part from the deco shape. And using water and mark setter, I applied the deco to the part. After carefully positioning the deco, I used a cotton swab to get rid of excessive moisture. Here is a finished kit. This kit had beautifully sculpted part with a lot of small intricate details, making it look great even without painting. And also made painting a lot of fun. Now whether you want to paint it or not, I highly recommend this kit. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe. I also put a link down below to my blog where you can find more pictures. And if you have any questions regarding this build, please comment down below.